and away they go from the 1800 meter marker early on double espresso is one of the trailers with cafe pacifica and dalzo bend the rules just the leader lord minver second and space news is out the rail the white head gear third Tashman's on the outside and high green between the two of them the white sleeves and cap brave voyages going around them at the rail double espresso then comes dalzo and cafe pacifica with the red caps the trailer and it's racing about seven or eight lengths off the leader bend the rules from Tashman. brave voyages going wide out on the outside to try and make it a line of three then comes lord minver high greens further back space news along the inside dows is now racing about seven lengths off the leader the two at the back double espresso and cafe pacifico Brave Voyager now moves up to tackle Bend the Rules. It's only a neck between the two of them. Tashman's back in third, Lord Minver's fourth, fifth place is High Green. Two lengths away to Space News who gets asked to run. Then comes Dalza, behind that Double Espresso and Cafe Pacifico as they turn into the home stretch with about 500 metres to go. Bend the Rules, High Green moves now, Brave Voyager. Between runners, Lord Minver on the outside, Teichman. Dows has got about five lengths to make up. High green, though, the leader. Bend the rules on the inside. Then Lord Minver. Teichman, Dows has got six or seven to go. High green, the leader. Bend the rules, putting on pressure. Lord Minver's running on on the outside. Bend the rules, though, over the last hundred. High green, Lord Minver, the three of them. Bend the rules, just the leader, and bend the rules will win. Second is close between Lord Minver and on the inside, High Green, and Dalza stays on or takes off late for fourth. Number two is the winner, Bend the Rules, and this is Noble Tune, Lorenza Karim, Gabriel Peterson. He gears it down, actually. It was close over the last hundred, but ends up winning a length and a quarter. Second gets tight. Second, probably the horse on the inside. That's High Green, number five. Lord Minver, number three. And then Ten Dalza, the tote favorite, who makes up a good couple of lengths to get beaten under two lengths. Four lengths away to Teichman. And then came Cafe Pacifica and Double Espresso. So as we look at this, bend the rules with the red sleeves. This one is for Amaria Ferreira and Rathmore Stud. And it's win number two from 11. High Green gave cheek up to the last 100. And Lord Minver staying on. And on the right is Dalzo. Makes up ground to get beaten under two lanes. That's the running of the seventh race. Number two pays up 650. Back to the studio. He's a little taller than I am, is Luandile Mpola. He gets a thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Well done to you, Luandile. Congratulations. Uh, ben, the rules uh, looked very good today and has won accordingly. Well done. Okay, thank you very much. Congratulations. Uh, yes, uh, uh, no trainer. Lorenzo Karim is enjoying a few days rest, and we wish him and his family all the very best for the rest. And uh, Gabriel Peterson, who is who we're going to talk to in a moment. But uh, while we're waiting for him, congratulations to all at Rathmore Stud. They've bred another winner. They bang on form, our Rathmore Stud. This is a son of noble tune out of a Mutafal mare and uh, owned by Mario, managed by Des, and was beautifully ridden to victory by Gabriel Peterson. And uh, Ben, the rules certainly uh, showed guts and resolution because uh, this horse of Gary Riches that ran second, number five, high green, uh, under young Kachedi showed plenty of cheek, and this uh, eight-year-old, recently turned eight-year-old, is certainly uh, racing well at the moment, is uh, high green. The rider is uh, a few seconds away, so we'll wait for Gabriel, and he'll tell us a bit more about this. It's the second winner today for young Gabriel, and uh, he'll step into the winner's area now. Second winner today, well done. Thank you very much, yeah. Um, I had a positive book of rides, so the, the confidence is blooming. Let's talk about uh, this horse being the rules because uh, he's now his second time winner and uh, he's, he's, you can't help but get that feeling that he's going to give the owners some fun in this division. Yes, um, he's still a very immature horse. He looks at everything. He doesn't uh, focus on his work as he should. But um, Like you were at school maybe? 
bit after school as well. <laughs> but um, yeah, look, he's still maturing. This was a sign of maturity. Um, huge uh, th thank you and well done to Denny, his work rider. He told me today he's a changed horse and uh, gave me a bit more confidence. And yeah, we rode a, a race accordingly and he came here. Gabriel, always a pleasure talking to you and well done because it was a competitive race and he's won a gutsy race, has uh, been the rules. And your second winner on the day. And uh, if this is uh, what we've got to look forward to for your uh, season ahead, we, we're excited. Absolutely. I'm very excited for the season. I praise God that there's no injuries this season and uh, everything's positive and the support rolls on. Lovely. Uh, congratulations and all the best for, uh, for your career going forward. Thank you very much. Yeah, just got to give another thank you to Lorenzo, to all the boys back at the yard. They're putting in the hours and it's a great start to the season. So thank you to them. Thanks to Mr. Ferreira, to Dez, Jason, and uh, to my sponsors, Fundamali, once again, thank you very much for being consistent with me. Lovely. Congratulations, Gabriel. Fundamali, we hear that name often uh, at the races. They support a lot of jockeys. They sponsor a lot of jockeys, and it doesn't go unnoticed. So congratulations to Fundamali. The replay is up next. I see there's a whole lot of people at the TV there waiting for the replay, so let's show it to them.